Okay guys, I just woke up now, literally just woke up now. But the legendary raids are on. They are officially on. Um, there are reports here in Chester that there is about four Articuno raids going on at the same time right now. Um, in the in the surroundings of the city. Um, and there's also one Lugia raid. So for us that were at the um at the Pokemon Go Fest. We we did not get the Lugia automatically now because you're watching this in the future. I'm saying we will not get, but at the moment it looks like we are not getting it directly into our accounts, uh, which is what's going to happen for the people who went to go first because they paid for the ticket. Uh, but instead, at least we get the chance to back one, to uh, be able to um, have a chance at catching it. Uh, and there is only one at the moment, there, so that kind of gives you uh, an idea of the ratio. It's about four to one at the moment. Uh, so. Um, yeah, we are going to be trying to go for the Lugias first. I would go for the Lugia first anyway because, um, I mean, it would be cool to have an Articuno, of course, because I'm Team Mystic and obviously our team's um, emblem Pokemon, but, um, I mean, Lugia is way more powerful, <laughs> so I need to get one. I'm not sure how long this raid will stick around for. I'm just checking all the announcements now. As you can see, um, Discords are absolutely popping off. Uh, this is just a temporary Discord. For the Chester event, but he's absolutely popping off right now. Um, even though I thought um, that a lot of people had already, le had already left, but it seems like there's actually still quite a lot of people left here in Chester uh, that remain, obviously, just to see what was going to happen. I even saw one guy saying that he's going to jump back on the train just to get here. Um, I'm not sure if he realizes that this is going to be happening across the world now. Uh, because, of course, I've also heard from friends over in London that. Uh, there is uh, legendary spawns in Hyde Park regions and all the kind of hotspot locations of the city. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to uh, finish up reading this. Every day at dusk I chase the sunset, sunset Looking for a glimpse of heaven's skies I've been given a taste for something that nothing in this world can satisfy But I know that a time is coming When I will be in glorious so in Chester. I'm just going to attempt to finish the challenge that I couldn't finish yesterday because the, um, the rendering point was shot up shot at 4 o'clock uh, So I was told to come back today to try and pick up my certificate um, City is looking lovely as usual. Lots of people about. Uh, still seeing loads of people playing Pokemon Go. Um, so I should have a decent few hours before the coach departs at two o'clock. I'm not going to venture off too far from where the coach is, which is just down the road there behind me. Um, and then I'm gonna take a few more shots for the video. And um, going to try hopefully do one raid, just one raid at least. Um, a legendary one would be great. But we'll see. Come on now. that everybody that I know of from the Discord group has left so I'm actually here alone but I'm only going to be here for a few hours so it doesn't really matter Ready? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but I now have to now spare to the kosher parts. I've got my certificate already. Um, I haven't managed to actually go to all four workshops uh, for the historical event. Which I'm actually kind of gutted about since I do enjoy history. So I'll be trying to see if I can reach at least two more of those. But I do know one of them, the castle is pretty far from me. Um, but other than that, I think it's legendary time because the sooner I can get my hand on an Articuno and a Lugia, the less work will be for me when I get back to them. Because remember, I will be getting there quite late, around 7 o'clock, so I'll literally only have like an hour to find and catch the legendary. <laughs> If they actually die, that's less taxes for you to call. That's an area of land that's not being tended to. So you're losing money. Every single person who dies in the 12th century is losing you money unless they're a mercenary because you pay them to die. You pay them to fight on the front line. Finally made it, guys. Just got one more left, which I think I will make. Even though there is only about 50 minutes left to my coach departs, so I am running a risk here. Okay, so this is like a scene of gladiator fighting. This is supposed to be the Roman stand. I'm gonna stay here too long because I feel like I know enough about Roman history. So I'm just going to head back to the center of town, try and catch the last stamp and then make my way to the coach station. Just logging on to Pokemon Go now, second day of the Chester event. Let's see how the connection is, please be decent enough. Okay, GPS signal not found, not a good start. Not a good start. Okay, trespassing, blah blah, okay, whatever. Okay, we're here and it's still super lured up now. A lot of people were complaining that these lures are actually um, not helping the performance of the app. Some people actually reckon that they might be part of the reason why uh, there's been so many crashes and so much lagging going on. And they did ask, yeah, there we go, it's crashed again. It's crashed again, guys. It's, it's, it's the same audio. Uh, yeah, so they were saying how basically the um, these this constant luring up of the place, and bear in mind there's like five times more lures. Uh, I mean, Pokestops in the city now because of the event. These are all Pokestops that will be gone by the time the event is done. And so, honestly, we we feel like 
including me, this bit of a problem with this with this extra poker sub system. I've got to make this work, otherwise I'm not going to be getting my legendary Pokemon, which would be very frustrating now. Now I'm sure you will understand. I will want to do this raiding in peace to make sure I can perform as well as possible and make sure I get this legendary. So, um, the legendary catch is probably not going to be filmed. I'm just going to be on my phone focusing on that. And the next clip you'll see will either be me very happy because I got my legendary, or quite annoyed because the phones let me down. Alright guys, finally made it to the station with just about 10 minutes to go. I can actually see my coach there right now. Um, he's just parked up there, the White National Express. It's been real Chester, it's been real, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wish this sun was actually out here yesterday. We could have enjoyed the day a little bit more. Um, yeah, so what happened in the last hour guys? I was busy running around trying to go to the different uh, historical sites to get the stamps. Then by the uh, Normans uh, and the Romans, I did get two more stamps there at least. Uh, fortunately, didn't. I actually did get a run to the Civil War stamp, but uh, there was nobody there to stamp for me. Uh, so I wasn't able to get that. And then I just had enough time to get something to eat. I'll be on a coach for five hours, didn't want to start. Back for breakfast, I just had banana. Um, that was a lot. It really, um, didn't try to get a legendary to be honest. What I would probably do is I'll just uh, go. I'm going to be getting uh, to London at a lot, uh, seven, so I would just be trying to raise for that last hour. To be honest, uh, the phone's let me down from this event. I'm not going to blame it on Nancy or anyone else. Um, this is what it is really guys. Did you really enjoy the celebration of the anniversary? And um can't wait for the next one. Guys, I'm absolutely shattered. I have just got home back home. But I want to take a few seconds just to explain to you what happened because you, I did not catch it on camera. After I got to Victoria, it started raining. But I realized that it was now or never. This could be my last chance to catch a Lugia. This is what was going through my mind. And or an Articuno. I got on a bike and I decided I'm not gonna let traffic or rain stop me. And I started cutting across the city. Just imagine the rain pounding on me. I've got my battery pack in my pouch, in the pouch of my of my of my jumper. I got wires hanging out left, right, and centre. 
it was just yeah you can just imagine it like it was it was like a scene out of uh, an action movie or something or, or an actual pokemon episode um got to the place it was packed full of people i might share some pictures later of it but i did take some pictures with my phone got there started off with the lugia raid my first ever legendary raid and we, we beat him as you expect did not get him it was so hard boys it was so hard um then with the rest of, there was a lot of people who didn't get him by the way so we decided to just keep going there was another articuno raid nearby in covent garden we went to that uh didn't get him actually wait, what happened in the second one if we got, um it was only like about an hour ago but that's just how crazy it was oh, I already anyways anyways let me just make this quick I did not get any legendary Pokemon yeah guys I did not get any legendary Pokemon it was really hard but you know what I just want to finish on this bright note I feel like that's good honestly and you might think what you haven't got a legendary obviously I'm not saying that not getting legendary is good what I'm saying is, it's hard, and it's, it should be hard. I'm glad that it is hard. I was actually pretty annoyed when the uh, level 4 raids um, turned out to be so easy and so common. So I would actually like to see the legend raids becoming less common, but I think that's probably something that they will do eventually. Um, and yeah, uh, just want to share with you guys the end result of the Chester trip right now. That's the passport. As you can see, I got three out of the four um, spots Norman, Roman, Viking and I missed out on the Civil War one wasn't my fault by the way Niantic it was not my fault don't punish me for it it's because there was no attendant there on the spot when I got there look at it doesn't look beautiful that is official that's that this is just the map uh, that we use and that has the questions inside that we needed for the prize and this is the certificate this is my pass to becoming immortalized in pokemon go with this pass i'm not going to show, show the code i'll be able to create a pokestop not in my name but i'll be the one who created the pokestop so i'm really looking forward to making my own pokestop now guys i'm really tired so i'm also looking forward to some food and a bit of winding down and uh, I shall catch up with you guys very very soon